Hey, don't get me wrong. I love my classic cars. I have a 1987 Jeep as well back there, aside from my two other Broncos. Uh, I'm about to pick up a 1962 International Scout. Uh, I do love my classic cars, and if I can afford all of them, I would keep them. Whether they be Chevy, Jeep, Dodge, Ford, whatever have you, classic trucks and cars, I love them. If, if I can fit them here in my yard, I will get them. Number one reason, first reason, affordability. <laughs> Not. You can't get a hold of a classic Bronco nowadays for less than $30,000. The cheapest one I've seen anyway is running $30,000. The truth of the matter is, since after companies like Velocity Restorations, Icon, uh, that's been selling these Broncos for over $200,000, even $300,000, the classic Broncos prices have skyrocketed. So you can't really find anything cheap anymore. I bought this Bronco right here, a shell of it, um, 10, 15 years ago for around $5,000. So I really had a good deal and that's the number one reason why I have a Bronco is because it was affordable for me back then. As you know, I put the 5.0 high output fuel injection system in this with a supercharger. Um, this is the initial turn of the key to just pressurize the fuel system to see if there's any leaks. And another reason, going into the second reason why I like the Broncos, is because it's a classic. That's another main reason why the prices have skyrocketed is because you can't find, there are very few surviving examples of the Ford Bronco nowadays. Uh, and the ones that are surviving, the ones that have survived the years, again, places like uh, Velocity Restorations, which I don't have anything against, it's a business, Icon have bought plenty of these Broncos for whatever price it was, hoarded it because they wanted to restore it, and then sell it to those that can't afford to pay that much amount of money. Someone like me, uh, I have to build my own to be able to drive something like this so that I have one. I have to build, I have to put my own hard work and dedication parts and buy my own things and customize things to make it run. Which goes to the next reason, the third reason why I love the Ford Broncos or why I have a Ford Bronco is the ability to be able to learn and work and restore something like this from not running from a shell to something a little bit more modernized and running and now I'm able to drive it on the streets and can tell people that I have built it. You know, truthfully, it is a running shell that everybody sees, a classic Bronco, and they probably think that I bought it running like this, but nobody sees the little things, those modifications, fabrication that I've done, Put in a, a different motor, different transmission, adapt, adapting it to the transfer case. Nobody sees that. Everybody sees what's the outside. It's a Bronco, it's a classic, and I have one. So for them, it's cool. But being able to, uh, the process of learning and, you know, making things is what I really got out of this build. The next reason is that it is rare. Now, I've probably talked a little bit about this in the beginning already, uh, that it's hard to find and it's getting more expensive, uh, but it is another reason why I have a Ford Bronco. It is a rare thing to see on the road. Considering there are new Broncos now, it's even more rare to see the older ones on the road anymore because a lot of the Ford Bronco aficionados or Ford Bronco enthusiasts have converted to the new ones because okay. of affordability, right? Sorry. It's cheaper. Uh, you can go and buy a loan. Uh, you can b borrow money 
sign a loan, have a monthly payment, and then you have a perfectly running Bronco on the road. But is it really the same? No, it's not. It is a rare piece of machinery that has a lot of ties into the old school way of uh, doing things. In my opinion, somebody like me that's a mature man, uh, I would love to have a classic in my garage, right? I can have any car I want. I can have any truck I want. I chose the Ford Bronco because it just kind of checks all the boxes for me on what I want in my garage. Well, right now, as you can see, it's not sitting in that garage because my Harley Davidsons are in the garage. But um, you know what I mean, right? Owning a classic and rare piece of machinery is one of the reasons why someone like me that's mature love the Ford Broncos. Before I go into the last reason, five reasons why I love the Ford Bronco, I'm just going to say that I am not one of those that is solidly or committed to one brand, right? I know there's come some guys out there that's going to make fun of Ford, going to make fun of Chevy, Dodge, whatever you drive, I don't care. I respect all classic cars. Uh, in fact, I am putting a Chevy motor on a CJ7 coming up. I have done in the past. I've had Chevy projects as well and Dodge projects. In fact, I drive a Dodge. I drive a Toyota uh, for my daily drivers. It just so happened that I have this classic Bronco. So the fifth reason. The fifth reason is that it is an attention getter. Uh, it is something that's just you know, amongst all of the things that I've said so far, anywhere you go, anywhere you uh, park it, you drive, people are going to look at it and they're going to recognize that it is a classic truck. It is a Ford Bronco. Uh, and so far, people that I've talked to, they can relate to the fact that um, with the amount of Ford Broncos that was made back in the days, at least their family, relative, friends have driven a Ford Bronco in the past in the farms, you know, on the streets, plowing snow, things like that. So it's, I think, ties into uh, it being a classic. You know, the Ford Bronco is an iconic vehicle that's uh, as many, as well as any other vehicles out there, uh, that's tied to a lot of stories, you know, it's got stories. So again, it ties into what this channel is all about. My channel is about heritage clothing and how that ties into history, you know, work clothing, work pieces, things like that. I think driving a Ford Bronco or any classic at all, vintage cars, ties into this heritage piece as well. So I really do appreciate the fact that you've kind of paid attention on the five reasons uh, why I love the Ford Bronco and how I transitioned or how I'm transitioning my channel or infusing some of these things that I do into my heritage clothing, it's mainly because uh, one, I am so busy working on this thing and I can't make any much more materials or contents when it comes to heritage clothing. So might as well make a video of the Ford Bronco that I'm working on, uh, the CJ7 back there, Jeeps, or, or the upcoming International Scout that I'm, that I'm gonna be picking up here pretty soon. It's a 1962 International Scout. 280 I think it's called so I'm excited and I'm gonna make another video of that for those of you that are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell also comment give me ideas on what you want to see on these videos so that I can make them that's all I have for you today Aloha